Alfrit, can you believe these peasants? No, sir. Time for a good bath, really. All this nonsense about muteness and deafness and, of all things, blindness. That's the pantry, sir. Oh, well spotted, my dear Alfrecht. I can't bathe without a good morsel to consume. That's a bag of sugar, sir. Are you a fool? I know what it is. How can I enjoy my tea without sugar? Sir, that's coffee. Exactly. I will be up late working on my memoir. Yes, sir. Uh, another thing, Alfred. Would you light a candle or something? It's dark in here as it is outside. Yes, sir. Uh... Welcome to the Tomes of Time. I'm the timekeeper, and here are my victims. <laughs> I mean players. Uh, here to play, who will now introduce themselves, starting with. Good evening. I am Garrett Artan, the resident assassin, or silent hand, as it is. Uh, and I am played by the one and only Christian Assassin 1138. This down here. I am Null. And I play Niela Volcain, the barbarian of the group. Grace and peace from the great Mathadorian. I am Donatello, also known as uh, the Black Doctor, the one who plays him. And that man in the bottom corner is... I am Captain Sean the Butcher Edinburgh, and I am played by Kyle St. Andrews. <laughs> yes. Now that we've heard our lovely cast for this evening, who can tell me where we last left our heroes? I got captured. You did. Last I remember, uh, before I had to leave, is we, a after we uh, woke up from the inn the next morning from going to sleep to the from the uh, session previous to last week, or the week before, Anywho, two sessions ago. There we go. Uh, after we woke up the next morning, we noticed that our uh, cleric was no longer present, nor was our resident bard NPC. Um, and so we went looking. We ended up finding a cave with a, a, a lot of goblins. Uh, we killed three of them. Started searching for others, um, as well as found a couple of wargs. Um, and last I remember is I had I got I got I put to sleep. Yes. Any other notes? And I don't know whether or not I got dragged off. Any notes anyone else wants to add? Or? I think remember. we've almost caught up at, caught up with everything. Oh yeah, you guys had multiple curses going on. Oh yeah, there's that too. I forgot about that. There was a bit of a wretched, a wretched curse for a wretched town. <laughs> oh yeah, it was. Uh, I couldn't speak. For me. No, yours was that you were deaf. That's right. That's right. Someone else couldn't speak. The the cleric. Which, um, that's actually, so currently, uh, dear viewers, if you haven't been following along diligently, the party is currently split. Um, of our current assemblage, uh, half the party is captured and half the party is trying to find uh, the captured party. Uh, how we'll be handling that is a few players will be assuming what would otherwise be non-player characters. For instance, Donatello, uh, for the first half of tonight, you will be assuming the character of Lance. Uh, Lance, okay. The character who's been traveling with the party. Um, Captain, we shall get to you in a moment as it seems fit. Um, so half of this will be 
your party, the, the entrance party to the cave, getting to a certain checkpoint, and then we'll flip over to the other side. We'll see how tonight goes. I normally severely overestimate how far you're gonna you guys are gonna get, which is great for um the fact that I'm at writer's block of planning ahead from like twelve chapters from now. But um so yes. Last time there was a <coughs> thing we've been over in this area oh I should uh, move the player to I should move your view to the actual current scene. <clears throat> What's the symbol that's next to skeleton? We'll get to that. Don't worry about it. <laughs> I am concerned. The surprise tool that'll help us later. <laughs> <laughs> I, am, I am concerned. Um, hey, Kane, what do you have? That's why do you have that stick there? That's a surprise yeah. tool that can help us later. We'll get to that. Um, so. Yes, Nella had just stampeded these goblins. Um, Lance, uh, you just rounded the corner looking for the assassin as you saw these goblins mowed down and um, signed an exclamation at their destruction. <laughs> um, nobody knows what's happened to Rafa just yet. Um, in this side room, uh, next to a passed out wounded goblin, we find, I fail to find his token, we find the half passed out, uh, don't know what's with the comment, it just happened on the live. Artan, you find you find yourself half awake in the side room here. Uh, do I? Do I see anybody, any enemies around me? Uh, none that are any more conscious. Is this DND? Yes. Okay. It's a Um, I am going to do, and where is that button that I'm looking for? There it is. I am going to do an investigation check to see what I can, basically just to see if I can find anything. Remember when Christians claimed this was satanic? Uh, no, I was not alive in the 80s. <laughs> yeah, neither was I. I was not even thought of. We were my, not people. Neither of my parents had even graduated high school. <laughs> so yes. Um Wow. That was terrible. Oh wait, you're investigating? What for? Yeah. I'm investigating the room. That's just a, a room. It seems it was used as a sleeping den, sort of a barracks. Well, I mean, it was a terrible role anyway, so... This is a room. Uh, there's one <laughs> ward still snapping now that he's finished the goblins that were thrown to it. Wait, what happened to the other one? Oh, it's uh, dead. He was set free and then... Bad things. <laughs> or good things, I guess. Well then. Um, by the way, have I been given... With my being passed out, was I given a short rest or a long rest? Uh, it hasn't been long enough for either. Okay. Mm. I would suggest the party consolidate and move forth. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna move <clears throat> right here. Uh, what's, what's with the, these two goblins? Are they they're, they're not marked. All the goblins are paced or gone. Uh, Nella, as you round into the hall beside Saren, you see uh, Rafa marveling at a cave-in as you hear a little bit more uh, rock rumbling 
and a rock falls and hits Rafa on the head, and he goes, Oh! Oh. <laughs> and falls unconscious. Oh. Um, see, here's the funny thing, is that I actually would see Blake being someone who does that. Uh, Kyle, your your spirit has heard the clanking of steel and the falling of rock and your spirit has been rustled. <coughs> you may now assume control of your character there. Assuming control of this form. You all see, uh, actually I'll let him describe what his character looks like or how, how you see him. Huh? What happened to his original character? Top. I'm trying to be Mister. I'm opening up the. Okay. Sorry. It's alright. <clears throat> it's running a little slow right now. Sorry about it. My character's about five foot high. What I'm assuming is a young lad, right? Uh, mid age, not too, not past your prime, but I was um a victim of a goblin cult spell. What I understand. So your ghost I just starts, not... your ghost just starts explaining this. Okay. Sorry, sorry. I was explaining to the to the audience. Ah. Yes, obvious. So the noise disturbed me. So who goes there? What's this noise I hear? I'm not with the party, am I? The ghost comes closer to the uh, to you two and uh, Saren. Uh, Jeremiah, you're playing Lance right now. Remember? Oh, right. It's the it's the guy with the staff. Okay. Okay. Oh, where'd Nella go? Oh, okay. I had I had a thing. I move forward. <laughs> <laughs> um. I hold up my hand and I say I may not be able to hear what you are saying but uh, what are you? Oh yeah Uh, Lance, uh, your curse is that um, you've, you've been unable to speak and you and the assassin have been working in tandem to uh to be each other's um, ears and mouthpiece. <laughs> so I what? personally, as a person, I don't know sign language. So Jeremiah, if you do, you have one up on me. I wish I did. Uh, my, <laughs> Mickey does, but I don't. And I'm gonna. I'm, I'm trying my best to learn it, but it is not good, like at all. <laughs> And so I guess Lance just <laughs> Lance just stands beside him and 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 nods. I, I see what well, I did. I, so I, our character, our characters know the sign language of this world. They yeah. Yes. We the players may not. Yes. 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 Right. Um, but I just realized that I forgot to give Doc control of Lance. My bad. Oh, you're cool. I was like, oh, you're not doing anything. What's going on? Oh, oh, right. <laughs> I have not assumed control of this form. Um, that should, that should now be... Hmm. Remedied. Try moving him. Is it working now? Let's see. 
Yeah, I can move him. Okay. Sweet. Land oh, he actually had the whole thing. So, That's pretty neat. So the assassin can't talk, right? No, um, I can't hear. He can talk. Land the cleric can't talk. The cleric can't talk. The assassin can't hear. Well, basically, y'all will be able to act normally. It's just for the audience know that they're basically communicating through each other. <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, and so we, we greeted ourselves, didn't we? Okay. Kyle. Well, so I, I spoke to the ghost and I, I said... Uh, what are you? This Who are you? Let me ask. Damn, does my ghost understand that he's a ghost or does he still think he's... I'll leave that up to your discretion with the information I've already given you of what you know and don't know. I'm trying to, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, Vlad. The one thing you do know is that you are, you can tell that they are hurt and affected by the same kind of thing that afflicted you, and you know that you have one charge to restore them back to uh, normal. Basically, you can, you can affect the same thing that the last ghost the party encountered did of giving them the effects of a long rest. Yay! But you can only do that once. Please do it, please do it, please do it. So please the, do it. the definition of long rest is like I, the condition I'm in, or...? Uh, yes, you are at full <laughs> ghostly strength. I'm just a mere apparition to you from the time long ago. He begins to translate. Do 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 do. <laughs> I'm sorry. Repeat what you said, Kyle. I'm just a mere apparition to you from a time long ago. Oh, I mean, you could have just said ghost. That. That, that would have been just fine. Lance pokes at him. Be respectful to the Actually, ghost. In, in, uh, in the lore that I'm slowly spanning out, um, e an echo would more be the common term for a ghost. Okay. Oh. My apology. Even to the um, ghosts, we must be even to the echoes, we must be respectful. Excuse me, but I am very tired. I just woke up from a forced nap. You're napping in a place like this? I did not wish it. You, um, could everyone roll a perception check for me? Oh no. Do I roll? Yes. You are capable. Oh, no. Do I have to roll under uh, Captain? Uh, roll with your ghost. So just click on... I believe it's Wisdom. <laughs> There's no... Hold on, hold on. Just the... I think just clicking on the number will roll it. <laughs> <laughs> we study Hebrew. Oh. Uh, the ghost, uh, uh, ghost and Lance, you hear in the distance low chanting in what you've come to recognize as a kind of goblinoid speech. But it's it's very distant. Wait, 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 wait. Um, Lance can't hear. No, oh, no wait, I'm the one who can't hear. You can't. Hear. Yeah. So, so I I begin nudging the assassin and say, you know. I hear the goblins doing something. I'm not sure what they're doing, but we should probably go and investigate. Captain, you know this to be the startings of the same kind of ritual they would often do in this cave when they do their sacrificing. 
I guess not captain in this scenario, but be wary. The cold up there has been known to sacrifice people. And sacrifice them to false gods. That must be stopped immediately. Perhaps this is where we will find the one who has put these curses on us. And maybe find Donatello as well. Yes, that as well. My apologies, I meant, I meant to speak for him as well. Are we going to dilly-dally, or Lala. are we going to find the others? Saren pipes in, seeming very anxious. We are. Lella, we're, we're going. We might be able to lift these curses. Uh, will the captain, or will the ghost evoke his ability to give them the effects of a long rest? Yes. Please. Yes. Oh, thank the lord. Alright. Yeah, everybody, you can top off your spells and, um, health points. I'm already at top health, so I don't need to worry about it. Well, bully for you, Jeremiah. <laughs> Sorry. No, oh, you're, you're fine. I'm just a little bit sassy today. Just a little bit. Aren't you always? That's actually a really good question. Fair enough. Fair enough. Just Fair ask enough. my girlfriend. <laughs> anyway, uh, as energy emanates out from the ghost that he gets just a touch dimmer uh, you all feel rested but I, I ask Lance is this the area in which he is hearing that is caved in huh? that is caved in so it's gonna be like somewhere up here in this path. All that's left to check is the hallway beyond where Rafa lays unconscious. Right. Stable, but unconscious. So we we need to find someone to carry him. Nella. I was gonna say, he's, he's going to look right at Nella. <laughs> Darren piped in and goes, um, it might be safer to leave him here for now as all the hostels in this area are done with there. what was that now if you, there. <laughs> if you say so and then Lance begins to um, he, he begins to make his way down to where the noise is alright does everybody follow mm-hmm. yes uh, where is interesting question like this way? is the ghost it's walked around or walked through <laughs> Uh, I think oh, I walk around him because I, 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 I feel like that if I walk through him, he's gonna possess me, and I don't need that right now. Lance Ooh, almost begins to walk through, but then he thinks, and then he slightly edges around. <laughs> <laughs> Do I get to possess people? <laughs> um, we'll say you're not allowed to do it for PvP purposes. Possesses a goblin corpse. All right, um, the party <laughs> moves into the next chamber. The Chamber of Secrets, no. Um, Did you put your name in the Goblet of Fire? Did you put your name in the Goblet of Fire? Uh, you find yourselves oh, in a very restricted hallway. I'll let every, I'll let us, we can fill ourselves in before uh, things start to happen. I am going to use my eagle sense hmm. ability. Uh, which the limitations of eagle sense uh, are as written in your feats description. Yes. Um, also, you want me to put it in the chat? Um, you don't have to. Um, really, me- immediately as you move through this hall, you realize there are two side rooms. Um. The only problem with that is um, those side rooms are full of goblins. <laughs> well, that's exactly what I was going to use my eagle sense for. I'm still uh, going to use it because it's still 30 feet. Per description, it doesn't actually go through solid objects, but... We do 
it for the sake of the lore. Um, let's roll initiative. <laughs> okay, then. Now we fight. Oh, wait. Uh, that was wrong. That was wrong. My bad. Hey. Yes, remember, click on your token and then roll initiative. Otherwise, it will go into the void. Yep, 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 <laughs> yep, 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 yep. And I got a freaking five. <laughs> hey. I'm so sorry. <laughs> There's always a chance of rolling a zero. That is, that is true. I wish I could re use my real die. So then I can also use uh, my handy dandy cool snazzy dice tower. You need, you, you see, I need to get some duck dice and get uh, a, a dice tower. Duck dice, Nisty? Don't tempt me. <laughs> um, for some reason, I'm having a hard time selecting these tokens. What on earth? Oh, because I'm on the wrong tool. Um, Captain. Uh, so for an for a NPC, which is what you have this character sheet of, um, by the name, there's that little D twenty that says I N I T really small, just past the armor class. That yeah. You select your token and then you click that. Nice. <laughs> um, is the ghost in the walls? Currently. I mean, you know, he is, he is an ill-corporeal being. He can do that. He's in the walls! He's, He's also not showing walls! up on, uh, this, this temple doesn't seem to be made out of ghost-resistant materials. Uh, <laughs> his, uh, his initiative is also not showing up in the turn order. Huh? I don't know why. That's weird. I will fix that, I think. Be, I should be able to. Select. To answer your question, Charlie, we are playing uh, Dungeons and Dragons Christian Edition. Hosted and written by the great Stephen the Soul. The second hosted and written. That that's so profound. Uh, I'll give the ghost a boost because the ghost kind of <laughs> has a drop on. Um. Put that all in descending order. Nella, uh, you get the drop on these goblins, apparently. Okay. Uh, I'm going to look at the goblins to like, the right and ask them, uh, are you hostile? Meanwhile, they have drawn arrows pointed at you. Awesome. She's going to... She's gonna just go up to this goblin and smack it in the head with her warhammer. Alright, <laughs> go for it. Oh. Oof. Ooh. Is that it? That, I believe, does not hit. No. I have an extra attack, so I'm gonna do it again. Alright. That <laughs> hit all the damage. Ah. You smack him really good, and he looks dazed and confused. Uh, I think that's... yeah, that's it. Alright. Um, it is the goblin right beside you to turn. He is going to, with disadvantage, release his short bow. That's going to hit. Even with disadvantage. Uh, you take nine damage as an arrow sinks right into your side. Ouch. Jesus lives, amen, comments. 
Um, that is all he does. Uh, next, uh, this goblin with the red old lady's hat. Uh, <laughs> has, he barely has line of sight, but he does have line of sight on Artan, so he will lose his arrow. It's going to hit. Yikes. For another seven damage. Nope, that was wrong. Oh, actually, Nella, it calculated crit damage for you, so you only took three damage. My apologies. I don't like how this site auto puts in advantage for everything, unless you fix it. Nella suddenly realizes that she took less damage than she wanted, and she instantly recovers from health. As, as the rage starts to set in, it hurts less. <laughs> <laughs> Um, ghost. There are spooky things afoot. It's your turn. Yes, feet are spooky. You see, I'm looking at the horrifying, um... I'm not used to the setup on this sheet, so give me a second. Okay. <laughs> Pardon? There's no way I could spook these in um, goblins. For this reason here. I'm... You mute. <laughs> that's really, that, your audio is overpowering and that's really loud. What was that? There we go. Is there a way I could um, horrify these goblins right here? In this Bobble chamber? Board. How does horrify work? Well, I'm reading over here the capability. See, and I'm trying to find ghost in my monster manual. Ghost one forty-seven. Well, that's a lot of math. For I don't even know the age of this guy. Uh, so horrified. Horrifying visage, each undead creature within 60 feet of the ghost plus 60. Um, yes, you can impose a wisdom save on these goblins. DC 13. So one of the goblins seems unfazed. The other, you see the, uh, from the, the lower one in the bowler hat, his hair actively becomes peppered, as and his wrinkles become even more defined, and his nose becomes more bulbous with age. Um, as your horrifying visage, um, is that how it works? I think so. A frightened target. A five or more. It also ages. Yeah. I honestly thought we were going to get a girlish scream out of you yet. <laughs> so yeah, as it just looks at you like... <sighs> I guess that's all you can do on your turn. Lance, Doc, you're up. Alrighty, I am going to move. Mess you up. Let's see, I'm going to move to uh, support Nella. And for, I guess, my. um. Let's see, this is... Right, I'm going to use a, uh, well, I guess summon another rapier for my uh, spiritual weapon and uh, put it behind this goblin. 
All right. Um, a interesting. Do I want to do that? Nah, never mind. Interesting other sword, either one. Yeah. Well, I was gonna see. I was gonna maybe add something to the flavor that's not properly part of it. Uh, yeah. So a a shimmering magical uh, rapier forms. Um, Let's see, where's the image I used for your spiritual weapon? Here he is. There it is. Let's see, does Lance have a French accent? What what accents he, does he, he have? Uh, Clone Wars Obi-Wan. Ah. Oh, let's see. Hello there. You lie. You lie. In the name of the great Paylor, I smite thee. That hits, roll damage. Ten. Oh! Uh, the, the rapier appears in such a way that it just pierces right through the goblin's heart as it appears, and uh, the goblin in front of Nella uh, drops un dead. Hmm. Looks like he didn't have the high ground. Well, I didn't need to delete it. <laughs> it's something he just deep. vanished. Well, I mean, ah! in fairness, in fairness, he did just get deleted from existence. So. It's not over <laughs> until it's just gone. Uh, I think, so that was, I think, was that all a bonus action? Yes, that was all a bonus action. Just the one bonus action. Perfect. So I am going to attack the other goblin with my rapier. All right. That hits, roll damage. Okay, you you stab that goblin through one big ear and out the other. <laughs> well then, I seem to be pretty good at this. Yeah, I think that's my turn. I like I like how Lance is under leveled compared to the like he's one le one or two levels behind the rest of the party, but you know. He can still hold his own. Yeah, rapier does some pretty good damage. Uh, Especially when one has proficiency. Yeah. Uh, whoops, that's the opposite of what I wanted to do. Okay. Now, uh, next in the order of the phoenix, a goblin. Which goblin is this? Uh, the goblin that you aged, uh, ghost, ghosty boy will run up to you, um, and he'll draw his scimitar and try to slash you. Does a 15 hit your armor class? Who's? The ghost. Kyle. Um, trying to find my armor class. Armor class 11. So yes, that one hits. It. However, I believe you can you take half damage from non-magical weapons. So you take three damage as he cuts through your ethereal form. Uh, I that down. I would a ghost experience pain. Um, sure, good point. The first time in Aeons, you feel this strange sensation of just needle needle daggers coming across your lower your abdomen. Hmm. Three damage. Assassin, it is finally okay. your turn as all of this insanity has unfolded. So I am going to move to right here. Alright. That should be within bounds, yes? Oh, certainly. With yeah. my 30 feet movement speed? <laughs> yes. Okay. Um, and then I am going to use my, my rapier. Okay. That, 13? Uh, that just misses, I am afraid. Language! Well, then, it's a good thing that I have two attacks. I'm going to then use my scimitar. All right. All right. Roll for it. That hits, roll damage. 
Three. Wow. All right. Um. Yeah, it cuts right across, right through his shoulder. Okay, yeah, Horrifying Visage didn't actually deal damage to it, it just aged him. Um, so you cut straight down to the bone. Um, Nila, it rolls back around to you. So, she doesn't want to go near the ghost. So she's gonna go up here and see what's up there. Okay. Um, there, yeah, there's a hallway proceeding farther. That way. You can get to here and have five feet left. Uh, as you get to there, you find another pocket. Um... <laughs> of course there are more goblins! She's gonna throw her axe. <laughs> Is she, uh, five feet left. She's gonna throw her axe at this one. Roll for it. Yeah! Mm. Aww. Aww. It just misses as the goblin ducks and accidentally looses his arrow into the ceiling in the process of, of dodging. I can't throw my warhammer. Can I? You can certainly try. <laughs> <laughs> I love that statement. <laughs> anything is possible. Is anything probable? I mean, what, uh, Nella, do you have rage ability as a barbarian? Or is this particular barbarian? Every barbarian has rage. So are you throwing your, are you throwing your big weapon? No, I'll just end my turn there. Cool. Speaking of hammer. Speaking of hammer, y'all to give her the one I sent you. And messages. Oh, for some reason it wasn't showing those as available. I don't know why. I think it's because when you do that specifically, you're sending from Instagram to Facebook Messenger, which I don't know how that's working. But anyways, that's besides the point. Um, this goblin Rafa, is no longer with us. You're here. Uh, hey, disciple, I thought you'd be busy. <laughs> he probably is. He just can't join us. He's not dead, he's just taking a little nap after a rock fell on his head. <laughs> um. Oh, the in-laws. Those are always fun. Mm -hmm. Um, the goblin in the hat will, um, run over to... <coughs> ...and make an attack with his scimitar. As he does that, I am going to use counterattack. Uh, does that take place before or after he attacks you? Uh, same time. At the same time. Okay, roll for it. Uh, however... Well, I gotta do an acrobatics check first. Oh, oh yeah, oh yeah! Okay. I remember entering this, I don't remember exactly how counterattack worked. Right. Is Here, it, is it similar... Chat. To counterspell? So here's what it says. One of the most useful techniques an assassin can have is to counterattack. In a split second, you can turn the tide against your enemies and gain the upper hand on most combat encounters. Using your reaction, you can attempt to dodge the enemy's attack in a controlled manner and smoothly transition into your own specialized attack of opportunity, successfully rolling an acrobatics check against the enemy's attack roll grants you the opportunity to strike back in the same reaction. All right. If your hidden blade is equipped. All right, all right. All right, yeah, I read that. Um, all right, yeah, you dodge out of the way of his scimitar, roll your counterattack. That, unfortunately, misses. Um, don't you let me double check just for due diligence. Yeah, that just misses, I'm afraid. Uh, yeah. But hey, you didn't get hit. Uh, meanwhile, Ghost, it is back to you. I've been reading the character sheet. Position. I would like to try position for 200 on this guy. For <laughs> 200? <laughs> uh, this 
possession for 200. Oh no. I was going to try to do a trivia, but it was I was about to do a something unrelated. Um charisma saving, bro. Ooh. Okay. It's seven no. Grizz. You yeah, you possess him. Uh Yay. Not bad. Um, yeah, you're in. Con the, you're piloting the goblin now. What do you want him to do? Or I guess that's. Flit his own throat. Flit his own throat. Flit his own throat. He's he still uh, has movement speed. He doesn't have any more actions. Uh, oh, movement speed. Uh, run him into the wall, runner. <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh, what? Please tell me you're gonna have him take damage for that. What? What posture? <laughs> what posture is he assuming as he's running into the wall? <laughs> Full speed. <laughs> he, as you run, since he is still conscious of his surrounding, he goes. I don't want to use my head. <laughs> Bing. <laughs> Why did I immediately just think of Toy Story 2 when you did That was the reference! <laughs> because for once, you actually understood a reference I made instead of assuming I was making a reference. <laughs> uh, well, I'm sorry. So yeah, anyway, anyways, anyways, he, he hits, yeah, he hits his head. He's not fully out, but he is severely hurt. Lance. Okay, so the question for, for me <laughs> is... For context, Lance, you just watched this ghost go into this goblin and him run straight into the wall. First, uh, first Lance just looks in utter disbelief, and then he says, well, he says in his head, well, I think those two have that taken care of. <laughs> 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 Okay, he goes up here and, um, I guess uses his bonus action because he can't necessarily... Oh, yeah, he's, he still has something. Yeah, he uses his, um... He uses his bonus action to put his spiritual weapon behind this goblin. Alright. And, uh, attacks again. The rapier apparates as if being elegantly drawn from a sheath of nothingness. Uh, you see the blade extending as the hilt raises. Uh, roll an attack. Oh. I'm afraid <laughs> it just misses, um, as this goblin is still kind of in the throes of dodging, uh, the axe that was thrown at it. Mm hmm I'm going to cast Sacred Flame on him. Alright, roll it. Or is it a roll or a save? It's a roll. Okay. Oh no, it's a save. It's a save. Such little damage, though. Oh. I know. Ow. And he's still. <laughs> this is a really nimble goblin. This this goblin, in trying to dodge the axe, literally just sent himself into a 360 side around. So he's just dodging everything. <laughs> What in the world? This goblin's got ultra instinct! <laughs> Either that or he has the shotting gun. I mean, he does have a goatee. <laughs> <laughs> um, anyways, it comes back to the possessed goblin's turn. Um, he is. Hmm. Uh... I don't think- it doesn't say he's allowed to keep making saving throws. Uh, Kyle, you can dictate- I'll let you dictate a course of action for the goblin to do, as possessing it. Well, <clears throat> picks himself back up and runs full speed to the other goblin. <laughs> I'm gonna hit this guy with this guy! 
All right, he runs full speed into the other goblin as the two of them slam into the wall. Uh, this, unfortunately, is not enough to actually do damage to this goblin, uh, but it has thrown both of them off. Can it make them prone? Uh, the, the one who Kyle is possessing is prone. The other one, however, being slammed into the wall is able to get right back to his feet. Uh, Garrett, you just want that insanity unfold in front of you. Now it's your turn. I just look at them and I'm like, yep, this is normal. Uh, a good point has been raised by a combative bystander. <laughs> Uh, and I take my rapier, and I attempt to stab the goblin right in front of me. Roll for it. Oh, thank the lord! I'm not gonna have terrible throws all night. About time, dude. That hits, roll damage. He's dead. Uh, yes, he oh. is. <laughs> I completely forgot. That's a lot of damage. <laughs> I just immediately see the roll. Okay, he's gone. Alright. <laughs> and with uh, that, I'm also going to use my bonus attack to then move over to the other goblin, and while he is prone, take my rapier and uh, attempt to... Alright, he is, he is well. prone, so you strike with advantage. No, don't give him a meat suit. Oh, I'm, I'm definitely taking that nat 20. All right. Um, <laughs> don't that take my meat suit. I'm sorry. I have advantage. Roll damage because there's always a chance you'll roll under a three damage. Yeah, okay. not likely. Yeah, he's gone. <laughs> um, oh, <laughs> as we come to the head of the initiative order, I am going to factor in the two new combatants. And I also have to take a super quick break. I will be right back in just a moment. Uh, yeah. Uh, converse amongst yourselves. I say gospel break. Kyle, care to do the honors? Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages, gather around. Let me tell you a story about a man named Adam who screwed up everything and blamed God. What a local hit. Because of him, we're all born into sin. Every last one of us, all of sin and fell short glory of God. None are good, no, not one. None are righteous, no, not one. The wages of sin is death. Which means if we stood for a just, holy, righteous God today, we'd be condemned. But there's good news, a.k.a. the gospel. The second Adam came, a.k.a. Jesus Christ. Was born of a virgin, perfect man, perfect God. Lived a perfect life, sinless life. Went to Calvary and died for our sins, was buried and rose again on the third day. All you have to do is confess your mouth to Jesus Christ the Lord and leave your heart. God rose from the dead. You shall be saved. Today is the day of the Lord's salvation. He stands at the door and knocks. The question is, are you going to answer? Well done, sir. Well done. Had to add some comic relief to it. Um... <laughs> I like this position. <laughs> I'm like, how can I get captain with this? But I don't want to use it. Well, um, <laughs> step one. Die. die. <laughs> right, really step, two. <laughs> step two. Step <laughs> two. <I don't, laughs> resist death. Step three. Uh, become a ghost. All right. Step four. <laughs> profit. We are. Uh, <laughs> we are at the top of the initiative order with Nella. Language. Sorry. <laughs> Someone. That's all right. That's why I have the clip downloaded of uh, Captain America. Language. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Is no one else going to comment on the fact that Cap just said language? <laughs> Sorry. Oh, I love it. Uh, I'm gonna go here, and she's going to attack this one first with her hammer. All right. 
Uh, top or bottom one? The bottom one. And then she's gonna use her extra attack on the top one. Okay, both of those hit. Uh, oh! oh that's the damage one. <laughs> oh. Please tell me you would, that, that the first hit exploded the first goblin's head. It, uh, <laughs> yeah, it, it completely demolishes the goblin that you hit with that first attack. The second one is still standing. Uh, which awesome. one did you hit with the first one, bottom or top? Uh, first was bottom, second was top. Okay. That's my turn. I'm gonna pick up the axe that I threw. <laughs> Alright. Easy enough. Uh, this goblin is no longer with us. This goblin is no longer with us. Uh, Ghost, you've just been expelled from the body you were possessing. Possess again. I'm fixing to. Um, is there a way I could get through this wall to this guy here? Yes. Uh, you, uh, ill incorporeal movement. The ghost can move through other creatures and objects as if they were difficult terrain. Um, so go you can, it, will, it will half your movement speed, but you can go right ah. through that wall. All right. So, what? Instead of 30 feet, it would be what? Uh, actually, it goes 40 okay. feet of movement, so it can move 20 feet. Lance, you just see the ghost go th come through the wall. So, where would I be at? Let's see. I'd be right here. Yeah. Alright. And I would like to try to possess that guy if I can, if I could do that in this move. Uh, you see that he's very close to death. Oh. So they either have eight, nine, seven, eight, or nine health. Or maybe even ten. I don't have any attack moves. That's the fun thing. Uh, You're scared. Actually, actually, you do. You have Withering Touch. Okay, I don't see that. It should be the top <laughs> of your attack. Oh, I see it up here. I see it up here. Yes, I do. Um. Yeah, I'll hit it with Wuthering Touch. Alright, roll damage. Click on the title of it. That does, Real. That does not hit, I am afraid. You tried to boop him, and you missed. Lance, it is your turn. That would be gross. <laughs> okay, just, just for the sake of it, moving my... Uh, Move my spiritual weapon over here and then attacking him. All right. Just so I don't have to move anywhere yet. Ah! I'm sorry. You have a plus five to that, even. I know! Mm. Hmm. Okay, so I'm gonna have to go all the way up here, five, ten, and then just smack him with my rapier. <laughs> all right. You feel you feel coldened as you move through the incorporeal form of the ghost. <laughs> he he shivers a little as he takes out his as he takes out his rapier and attacks. Oh, that's a crit! Roll damage. That's a crit. Stab through do, the heart. How do you want to do that? Yeah, literally stabbing him through the heart and then literally lifting him up to take the sword out and he goes flying to the other side of the wall. <laughs> Alright. Um, I'm gonna I'm gonna Holy take man, no control of Lance just for a one liner. So uncivilized. <laughs> 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 he just signs so uncivilized. And um this... As, as that whole thing is happening, I'm just standing over the two dead goblins, and I say, Requieste in pace. <laughs> and then he just sees another goblin bump up against the other wall. All right. Well, no, I'm in. I'm. I'm in a different cavern. Oh, right. You can't see that. <laughs> I can't move. Um, initiative order has been broken. The combat is over. Now I can move. Ghost. <laughs> so I take it we can't really, we wouldn't really, 
we wouldn't necessarily see anything going on sort of like up here yet. Uh, not yet. However, with Nella poking into that cavern... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you just move it back and forth. <laughs> Nella finds the back rooms. I'm actually <laughs> going to go right here. <laughs> I'd rather um, be in the back room. We should as, split up, gang. <laughs> Garrett, oh, both of you, as you come to that point, uh, Nella, you see something much more troubling than Art. Uh, Nella, you see something much more troubling than Artan does, but both of you basically get this picture. Of course there are more goblins! Can I continue? Oh, wait, question, question. Does that goblin that's right next to me see me? Not currently. He's standing sentry. Okay, I am going to use sneak attack with my hidden blade. With Um, both of them. One, one second. Um, Nella... You get the feeling that you've moved far enough away from the party. The the mess the message perched up. You you must gather your party before you continue. <laughs> <laughs> the invisible wall. Out of bounds. Out of bounds. Out of bounds. <laughs> no battle battle front and battlefield side. Stop. Where are you going, soldier? You must get back to the fight. <laughs> uh. So so sneak attack. Yes, and yeah, I'm going to be using attack with you, both my attack. You currently have a surprise round on this goblin. Both Nella and Artan would have surprise rounds if they wanted to attack those sentries. Sure. I'm, I'm afraid both of those don't hit from the assassin. Nella, you can move and make your attack. That doesn't hit. The second hit does roll damage. Okay, it takes a good walloping as... Uh, please roll initiative once again, ladies and gentlemen. It's time for battle! I need to hit my frick Language! You, Keep you, getting you, <laughs> you know us, you know us, you know. You, you would probably be better if you hit your shots. I mean, hey, goblins. Arguably high Jedi. AC. Terrible, <laughs> terrible hit points, though. <laughs> um, yeah, we'll get to that when we get to that. Um, Man, I, I just suck when it comes to initiative today. What, what's, what's your initiative? Four. Definitely. Who's room for an initiative? Okay. Each of the boxes is five. Eight. Yes. Good. Uh, though you don't want to end your turn inside a solid object, or you will take damage. He's in the walls. I'm going to uh, keep making that joke as long as you're in the walls. <laughs> uh, one of the goblins from this alcove, hearing a com- seeing Nella, will, uh... Rush out two, three, four, five, six, um, and he will loose an arrow at you. And if you want to live, you're trying to roll, and that's a critical and double damage die. No damage guy, that doesn't hit. Your friends cry because it's on a spree. It's not the next goblin will turn to the assassin and uh, draw his scimitar and try to make a slashing cut. Also missing. <laughs> Nella! Wow, you suck, bro. Get good, scrap. I want to use my charger feet to run at this goblin and hit him. Alright. And I'll put that. Um, as you do that, you're going to leave the attack of opportunity zone of that sentry goblin that you almost killed. So he does get a... Oh, that's a crit! Kiss me in the back of the leg! <laughs> um, you take eight damage as a scimitar... Oh, that's nothing! Basically, just the curve of the scimitar meets your calf as you 
run by and help ram your leg through the blade. Yikes! Mm. Awesome. You do, however, still okay. affect a charger. Uh, that hit. get a plus for the damage to the yeah, for the damage. Yeah. Because I'm not pushing him away. Fourteen then. That yeah, it's that goblin is just gone. <laughs> you obliterate it. D did you? Okay then. And now she has a slight limp, but she's still proud of herself. Yep. So wait, wait, wait. It's wait, like wait. she she what ran. What exactly happened to the goblin? No, she uh, charged no, him. You... He exploded, and then in the hints of the explosion, the scimitar came down and scrubbed her leg. Well, no, it's so this goblin at the entrance. She ran past without disengaging, so it got okay. attack of opportunity. Hmm. And uh, also, so... and so who died? She, she uh, died with her warhammer. Oh! She ran into him and he exploded. Which, it's occurred to me, I'm sorry, audience, I did not move. Whoa, that's completely not what I wanted to do. Ah. How is it that we keep exploding goblins? I do have a Because story. they're so weak. Makes you wonder how to tell them. Yeah. It's almost like these are more of a. Uh, <laughs> well, it's almost like in fairness, I almost got captured too. Yeah, it's I got I got sleep spelled, so I mean. It's almost like these are more of a level one enemy, and y'all are level five. <laughs> All right. I have an it's almost like we weren't right. meant to take care of this. Attack I wanted to do. All right. All right, you're still going. I want to turn around and throw my axe at the dude who sliced my leg. Fair game. Roll for it. <laughs> Turn about for Ooh. fair life. That hits. Roll damage. Five. That <laughs> it pins the goblin to the wall right through the heart. Nice. <laughs> That's what he gets. Now I'm done. That is anime. Ghosty, ghosty. It is the ghost's turn. Let me do this. <laughs> Who are you asking yourself for the DM? The DM. I want to possess that guy right there. Oh, of course. Uh, he must make a wisdom saving throw, I believe. Charisma saving throw. I don't know why your possessibility is based on how charming you can be. He but... crit fails the Riz. He does! Actually, so they, they both crit the Riz! The Riz. <laughs> The and he the <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, Kyle, yes, you assume the form of this mustached gobelino. <laughs> <laughs> I am Zach, I now have your gobelgool. Zach, you got the capability to defend yourself from an attack, right? Um no, I am still technically engaged with the goblin that is right next to me. Why? So if I run him at you, what could you do to him? Um, well, I could potentially use counterattack. Let's go. Charge! That, but that would be also up to the DM, because I also don't want to uh, give an attack of opportunity to the goblin that's right next to me. Uh, unless he hasn't noticed it, me yet. That would not evoke an attack of opportunity. Uh, that would burn your reaction for this round. Um, which means if they moved away, you would not have an attack of opportunity. I mean, so you, you can be, me, so that's fine. You you can do that. Um, a, back. Okay. The, yeah, I, okay, the goblin comes barreling towards you head first. And once again, for those who've been there watching this video... Counterattack. They they can see that on the side. Um, uh, oh, I guess I should roll a attack for this guy. Um, yeah. Just an unarmed strike will be a d20 plus his strength, I believe. Which is a minus one. Dang it! Mm. Um, I'll give him disadvantage because... 
Uh, it's Kyle controlling him. He is possessed, so... <laughs> he gets none. So then I am going to use my... Yeah, I'm, gonna be, I'm gonna say that he gets... He, he fails and gets hurt by you. Roll your damage. Well, I haven't picked what blade I'm using. Um, <laughs> Which is gonna be a 20 with my rapier. 14. <laughs> yeah, how do you want to skewer this goblin? Uh, right through the eye. Oh, uh, okay. <laughs> All right. Yeah. Actually, no. I take that back. I take that back. Through the mouth. Okay. Right through the mouth. The goblin's letting out a war cry. He's just like, no, 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 no. As you skew. Wow. Him. You really and made him eat those I words. Once again, say, requieste pace. Wow. You really made him eat those words. Um, ghost. <laughs> you are again. The ghost is again ousted from a body. Um, uh, you can only possess people, uh, four more times. <laughs> um, uh, Lance, it is now your turn as you've seen this chaos unfold before you. I move in front of our assassin friend and, uh, attack this, um, I was going to say this gentleman, <laughs> but attack him with my rapier. Not a, he's not a gentleman. He doesn't even smell. He doesn't smell like he's bathed in centuries. He hasn't even been alive that long. Oof. Well, he gets a stiffy stab anyway. Oh, that hits. Roll damage. Yeah, for context, for those who can smell, unlike the ghost, uh, it basically smells like you've invaded a sewer. <laughs> you being of absolute filth. Well, he can't even say anything. He's mute. <laughs> the most charismatic character is mute. Oh yeah, that's right. Ne belay my one-liner earlier. <laughs> <laughs> no, he he signed it <laughs> after you put away his rapier. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so what? that's a that's a four. That that does hurt it, but it's still standing. It is the assassin's turn. Wait, I still have my bonus oh, action. Oh, I, I still have my mind. bonus action. Yeah. So I'm, I will I will attack it also with my spiritual weapon, which is a twenty one. <laughs> okay, it operates that hit roll damage. He dead. Don't even worry about he it. Dead. He's dead. He, he's he's <laughs> dead. <laughs> he is literally sliced in twain. Yep, it is just Gonzo. Wait, is he sliced ah! in twain from head oh. head to toe or through the waist? Head to toe, like straight down the middle. Yo, kid, okay. And since it's a and, magical, and since it's a magical rapier, its cutting abilities are even more effective. Yeah, and, and <laughs> because it's force damage, it literally blows him apart. Oh. Um. All right. It. And I just look over and I say, "Well, you should did split hairs." Uh, the goblin <laughs> just smiles. The goblin. This goblin steps in front of um, Nella, what you recognize from, what you barely recognize, but what you recognize to be some sort of a, a female goblin, it seems, that he steps in front of and uh, looses an arrow at you. Oh, you see, the guy with the big top hat, that's the gentleman. Um, oh, yeah. yeah, that's not gonna hit. That's a 12. Um, and he sneers at you. Um, she sneers. Back. This goblin. He's dead. This goblin is no longer with us. This goblin is no longer with us. This goblin is no longer with us. This <laughs> goblin is no longer with us. Uh, <laughs> I believe that was only one round of combat, and you almost finished this encounter. <laughs> And, you know, and you know what this is making me think of? This is the thing making me think of The Legend of Vox Machina. I started watching that this week. And... <laughs> and, and guys, keep this into account. Our original attacks completely missed. Yeah, <laughs> not a surprise round that was all but one hit whiffed. And you... Okay, anyways, it is Nellon's turn. She's gonna run up. Oh. Yep, that... Yeah, that hits. Roll damage. <laughs> <laughs> Watch, this guy's gonna explode too. Wait, which which Hold on. one? Hold on. What, Noah? The hit or just one? Uh, just the second one. Gotcha. 
How do you want to do this? Oh, he is dead! Oh my gosh! Uh, I want to come down from the top so the hat is smushed within the bloody pulp of the goblin. <laughs> oh all golly! It's, all that's left is just a horribly macerated, horribly macerated green and red mass with just this crumpled, crushed, velvety uh, top hat. Just kind of lightly springing. And, um, oh golly, fam, oh goblin. Now, what do you think of that? Before, <laughs> yes, before you, um, scared, hurling back, uh, hur not hurling, uh, curling back against the wall is this female goblin. Oh no. Hmm. I think we just killed her entire family. It's the end of my turn <laughs> as well. All right. Can't cover the, the remains of that one. Um, combat has ended. Oh. Properly. <clears throat> For real this time? Yes. Okay. Yes. Hmm. So what now? Uh, there is a... Nella has a female goblin pinned against the Nella wall. is going to walk over the <laughs> bloody pulp of the goblin okay. to her. Are you hostile? No. Shakes her head. Do you know where our friends are? She tilts her head at you. What friend? Never mind. What was going on here? Her eyes widen. <laughs> I look over at Lance and I sign, uh... Wait, can Cleric sense magical energy? Yeah, I've detected good and evil. So I, I signed to him, uh, do you sense any magic in the area? I cast Detect Evil and Good. Uh, you sense an undead right where you see the shimmering form of the ghost. That's it? <clears throat> uh, from deeper in the cave, you actually do sense, um... It's hard to determine. It feels almost like a a mix of fey and undead from deeper in the cave. I move over to to, to the goblin and I and I I get down on one knee in front of her because they are shorter than us. Yes. Oh, much shorter. Mm -hmm. yeah. uh, she does recoil away from you, fully into this corner. And I say, the magic that is being done within this cave. Is it being done by human or by goblin? Nilbog! Hmm? Nilbog! And you, uh, y'all may roll whatever you think is best or your highest of arcana, history, uh, or, yeah, I'll say arcana or history. I don't get to participate. No, you can certainly- Ooh, I got a 21. Does religion count too? Sure. Woo! Oh. <laughs> <laughs> you got woo! And then rolled an eleven. <laughs> um. Um. Yeah. Uh, from, from from your historical studies, um, Garrett. There is a situation in which um, a, a goblin uh, can study the arcane or can reach out to a patron of some sort and that magic that magic in their system corrupts and they are driven into basically this mad arcane entity. Um, and they are referred to as Nilbog. 
And as soon as I hear her say that, uh, I get up, I turn around to the rest of the group, and I say, this is bad, we need to find this goblin now. He's probably the one who put this curse onto us. Yeah, from from that role, yes, you would know that they they very easily can have all sorts of influences on uh, local uh, things they consider hostile and want to bewitch. I turn back to the to the female goblin and I say, "Where are they now?" Just point. Actually, a point of order: um, the restoration that the ghost gave you would actually undo your curses. My apologies. Um, oh, so the the one-liners and the ease of communication um, have indeed happened. <laughs> oh, thank the Lord! I mean, even oh. still, we need to go kill this thing. But that's beside yeah, the point. We do need to get going, and and he uh, Lance actually goes and um, and uh, squats <laughs> at the Goblin Lady, uh, and he says. Um, thank you, madam, for your information, uh, but also, I apologize that things had to get so, um, so bloody, so quickly. She, uh, she looks at the mush with the top hat and just slowly reaches and takes the top hat and brings it to her chest. I say, was that your husband? She, uh, <laughs> she kind of just looks away. Doesn't really say anything. This was her family. I fear we may have just killed her entire family. I say in an aside to Lance. I say we better. Nella! (laughs) Wait, what? This is what happens when you lose your family. She she could join me. You're talking about murder. She looks at the multitude of goblins that are already dead. Uh, he, he, he inches a little bit over to her. Um, is there anything we can do to help you? Not all bad. Passage beyond here. Just families. Children. Women. Leave safe. No harm. No one harm. I look at her and I say, You have our word. No harm will come to the women and children. Just tell us where this nail brick is. Deeper. Central altar. Sacrifice. Zbilna. And as almost what should not have been an afterthought, but was unfortunately an afterthought. He also asks, was there also a turtle that was brought in here last night? She sa- she shakes her head as she wipes away a glob of tears. So then it's possible. It's possible that he's not here. It's not good. Well, either way, we need to make sure that this curse is stopped, and hopefully after that we can find our dear Donatello. And, yes. as, and as you say that, uh, we will transition to the other half of the party. With, with the keyword of Donatello. Um, Donatello, you awaken with an arcane hangover that smooths. And uh, as you look across, you see, Captain, what have you what have you been doing in the little while since you've awoken? I'm what am I in a cell? <laughs> yeah, you are in a you are in a cell you found um, with you is a little pseudo dragon. Oh a lizard. Which is Nella's character for this half of the game. Um, real quick, uh, Steven, 
on the map there is another token that is not supposed to be able to be seen right now and i can see a little bit of it oh that's all right uh okay also um you you do have a part in this but it'll be just a, a moment before he arrives okay do i need to break out my demon voice for it no Oh. <laughs> like, what? No. If anything, I'd recommend a papyrus voice, but uh, that will be explained in a bit. <laughs> so, yeah. I'm sorry, what kind of voice? Papyrus. From Undertale. Anyways, anyways, without giving any Skeletor, support, basically. Skeletor. What is this about? Uh, this is a based D and D campaign. Uh, currently, this is about. Uh, the these two in the bottom corner being trapped in cells as they awaken. I um I I wake up putting a uh, a hand to my forehead. Oh, oh my goodness! Where where am I? Can anybody hear me, Captain? You can hear you. I can. <laughs> Here, your friend. Ca- Captain, is that you? How did you get here? I don't know. I was going to ask you the same thing. And who's this lizard would be? Uh, hello. A uh, Ramfang. You remember seeing them be dragged into these cells? Hi. Um. Can you help me? Depends, can you help me? Where am I? Beneath. Far away. Lost. How do we get here? Creatures. Stole. I take it the goblins. Grandpa knows it. Yes. Oh, little short guys, okay. Well then, we must find some way to get out of here. Um, I, I, I look at, uh, at my cage. What, what type of material are the bars? Uh, the oh. bars are made out of bone, actually. And speaking of bone, as you look around your cell, um, Zach, your skeletal form that you will be taking charge of comes to consciousness as you notice a turtle looming about the cell bars. So, you have awakened. Donatello hunches (laughs) and then slowly turns his head to see the skeleton. You wow. skeleton in the tattered remains of what once seemed like a magic u- user's outfit. Well, in one night I've been apparently ambushed by goblins and now I'm talking to a skeleton. I've had worse days. Hey, Pitchman, well, hey, Pitchman. You certainly have faith back and born, I can see. <laughs> Preacher man, who you talk to over there? You probably wouldn't believe me if I told you. I don't know. I got a lizard talking to me. Try a skeleton. I've seen a couple ships of those. You, uh, you hear a rustling from the lower cell as, um, an elder man pokes his head out and goes, Hello? Ooh, who's that? It is, uh, I suppose, a few of your cellmates. Oh. Oh, my pale is light. Perhaps we can escape this god-forbidden place. Ah, it is good to hear the voice of another watcher from the great day. Yeah. <laughs> Oh. Pale or fake, pale or false. <laughs> uh, that would fail to explain the power 
gifts that I have. Some teach you D and D sometime, perhaps. Uh, living for the Lord. Power? You have power? <laughs> Clearly not. If you had power, you would not be here. <laughs> Bored oh, sure, from yeah. um, what sounds like a skeleton from the cranking of your jaws. It is a skeleton, friend. Hmm. Most ironic words. Indeed. So, uh, and and just just to check, how how breakable are these are the are these bone cages? Um, you can roll a strength check to try to break them. Ah. <laughs> well, that's well, that's I'm making my girlfriend die oh. of laughter with the voice that I need to make now. Too, too many. What was that, Kyle? Did they take our weapons from us? Yes, unfortunately. Uh, so that means I can't use my mace, so it is going to just have to be a, a raw strength check. That uh, cracks half. It's not fully broken open, but it is damaged. Hmm. hmm. Some power. It seems that... It seems that the great Mathadorian has put us here, not because he lacks power, but because he has given us oh, power. Oh, strength save, sorry. Oh, you, you jerk. That's the save, that's not... Um, that still, though! Edinburgh, as you reach, you find once again you're without powder and without your firearms, and you just, in a rage, just kick the bar <laughs> wide open. Ramfang, you've never seen someone able to escape the cell before. Um, the bone's even too tightly knit for your form to get through. Well, that certainly is a first. <laughs> and you doubted the power of the great Matt Lodorian. And Donatello hits it again. I also use my inspiration. <laughs> Alright. Yep. That's right. I still have my inspiration. <laughs> they finally break. No, no, before 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 I push it, um I I step back and then run, hide in my shell, and roll through it. Yes. And so you do. Um All right. Do all I right. Have full control of this skeleton. Yes. Okay. Now that you've broken um, me, please, will someone let me out? Of course. Uh. And uh, let's see. Is is there a key nearby? Uh, there is not. Well. I guess that means more straight straight throws. Ram Fang, if you want to help him by checking for weak spots in the door, he can roll with advantage. Yeah, I'll crawl up and down the door like gnawing at the bone. <laughs> All right, you hit a few weak points. And uh, Jeremiah, you just break the bars right off as this cleric um, saunders out. Thank you. Of course, my friend. It is no, good to see another worshipper of the great Pale here. Indeed. I am. I say that Pale, not real. No evidence. No evidence at all. Uh, check the broken gates, my brother. I am rolling. Strength, not power! So, uh, anyways, the cleric says, I am Rowan Adley. I came into the woods near here searching for where the disappearances were, and... Well, I guess as you did, fell victim. <laughs> how, how bad is he? He... That's a good question. Uh, also, vibe check. How much longer can we all go for tonight? 
I'm good. Honestly, I can go for a good little bit. Same. But if you wanted to take a break, I could go. I could use one to go get a drink. Um, like maybe some coffee for myself. Potentially. I'm just more checking because there's a little bit more. There's, there's a little bit more plot to this. He looks like he, uh, he in a, in a fourth edition terms, he's bloodied. He's, uh, he's about half, he's been taken down about half of his pegs. Hmm. So. Blinded, deaf, and paralyzed or poisoned. Eh, alrighty then. I shall... I'll just cast uh, Cure Wounds upon him. All right. And uh, touch him and uh, and cast Cure Wounds. All right. Here again, some life. As he looks at the skeleton and goes, See, there is power in the name Paylor. <gasps> I remain unconvinced. He also has, he also gains like four more health because of my Disciple of Life ability. Oh, that was eight healing already. Oh. Yeah, eight healing plus five plus four. So uh, eight plus five. He's to max health. He can't go over his max hit points. Uh, he is healed up. <sighs> Many thousands of things. Hmm. If Pelor real. Then why suffer? <laughs> the question is old as time, my dear undead friend. Perhaps to rout out souls such as the ones confined to bodies such as yours. <laughs> Very much so. You will find them in your head. You will find them in your Okay. Hold on. You will find danger ahead, my friends. The next chamber has guard wogs. Ramping, you know this well. The barking and howling and snarling of the dogs. He kind of curls up on the wall. Don't worry, the might of the great Paylor will be able to protect us. That, I can assure you. And, despite my stature, I can still fight. <clears throat> Is there any of the bones that we broke for the cage? Oh yeah, you can you can collect some. You also have a whole skeleton uh, with you. <laughs> <laughs> I was wondering, is there one long enough I could use as a quarterstaff? Take the spine. Um, roll an investigation check. Take the spine. <laughs> you find what you surmise was probably like an ogre's femur bone. And, uh, yeah. You find a quarterstaff. I would actually argue that that would be more of a club than a quarter staff. Well, you might argue that, but you're not the DM. <laughs> I'm just saying, <laughs> no. Historically. I don't be a lord of this. I was just bludgeoned. Patriots <laughs> instantly destroyed this challenge. Perhaps. Well, are we going to get going or what? Do we want to get out of here, or do we just want to stay here for the rest of our lives? I want to leave. Is, is, is well, there technically, any rags? you don't have a life. <laughs> is there any rags we can shove in his mouth? Uh, his, you, you, as you're looking at him, you realize in this state, his jaw is the most removable it's been in this entity's mm -hmm. entire life. Don't you dare. Don't you dare. Oh, you dare. <laughs> what do you want to do, Noel? I'm gonna, I'm gonna go get 
What? I'm gonna go get his job. I'm gonna go get his jawbone. <laughs> and as she come at comes at me, I'm gonna swing at her with my short sword. <laughs> okay. Well, this 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 is getting to the point of derailment. Just chill it. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh, we, we should probably get going. <laughs> oh, man. Okay, so it, it would be in this direction, right? Yes. Okay. Um, uh, in Captain, fact, if you could break this gate for us. Looking through the bars, you do just properly see this chamber. question. Are the wargs chained? They are. Are they undead? Do you want to divine sense? I don't have divine sense. I have the tech good, uh, evil and good. Does that count? I think that is how that works, yes. It would detect. Uh, yeah. Um, the, the, the arcane sensor gives, like, a few false reads, and you feel it's like, wait, no, is it? And finally, your conclusion is like, no, but they look like they should be with how the uh, Lord of the Rings effects team made them look. <laughs> <laughs> Which sucks, because I was gonna do something really awesome... Hmm. Roll charisma. Just a, roll a charisma save. Wait, a charisma save? Yes. Uh oh. Peace. You finally get a, a nether pulse of your detect good and evil, and it's like. Sure, we'll say they're undead. <laughs> Woo! Okay, so... Whatever you do, please leave my character out of it, because I don't want to die. I know he's I was, a monster. I was going to say, my dear skeleton friend, you should probably stay back as far as possible. And so, what, 5, 10, 15. So, he goes here, and that's... Yeah, you should probably stay all the way back. That's about 30 feet. As and you do that, uh, the two wargs snap to the end of their chain, almost getting to you. Uh, but they seem stuck just outside. <laughs> there shall okay, no evil good. befall thee, neither shall any plague come nigh thy dwelling. And he begins to kneel. I just... Uh, the skeleton just kind of tries to look around the corner... He begins to kneel and begin to pray, and he begins to cast Channel Divinity, Turn Undead, at 5th level. Okay. Um, these creatures are pretty simple. We'll say they fail their saving throw. Um. They, and at 5th level, they are instantly destroyed. As a, a, um, sort of golden arc comes out from you um, as the, the glint illumines their eyes and they just turn to go hur, 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 and a run towards the walls and a huddle back in little alcoves that have been dug for them uh, in fear. Oh. He begins to rise from his prayer Motioning to, uh, motioning to the rest of the party. Come, it is safe. Uh, Rowan the great Palaw has become our shield. Rowan Adley turns to the skeleton and goes, See? Hmm. Another door. Hmm. Hopefully, it should be, uh, we might get even closer to our, uh, our missing friends. You? What friends? Then why did it take so long to find you? This was a really good me down, aren't you? 
This would seem to be a deep, deep cavern system in which the goblins have nestled themselves. Hmm. I've been in these caverns for not around 300 years. You haven't. <laughs> but... <laughs> <laughs> Well, nevertheless, we might be, uh... Oh, well. We might be perplexed, but we are not in despair. And even though we might be hard-pressed on all sides, we are... Uh, we're not crushed. So we might as well find our way through. As he begins to, uh, to tug at the, uh, at the gates again. Rowan helps you, and... Part of it breaks away to kind of serve as a cane for him uh, as you break it open. And um, you basically pass up a hallway past what seems like it would be another barracks, uh, but for time reasons, uh, it seems empty. Um, <laughs> and you proceed. Yeah, if we got into another set of combat, things would get interesting. You proceed into wow. the next chamber. Oh. Um, I need to do one thing to the next chamber really quick. Mm-hmm. Um... Wait, there's a matter. What's the matter with the head? All right. Sorry, I had to do something technical. Technical! Hello. You all come out into a hallway, and uh, you smell um, a smell of uh, burning coal and uh, cooking meat and raw meat. Uh, Y'all wouldn't get that far into the hallway. Right, I'm, I'm trying to figure out, do we start at the top of the hallway or the bottom of the hallway? Bottom, sorry. Okay. Um, but as you do, you look in and to the side. Uh, Captain, you see it, what in your experience clearly is set up to be a kitchen. Uh, in which, standing over a furnace, is, is um, a goblin that has grown rather rather large in a chef's attire, almost the size of a squat ogre. Think the uh, Goblin King from The Hobbit. Mm -hmm. uh, and he is There's just... skeletons in the corner. He's tending to meet with a giant, uh, jagged, ugly-looking cleaver. Um, I love my cleaver. There are a few goblins grabbing things off of tables. Uh, also, I will say you did get your weapons back in that side room, in that barrack side room just outside the jail were your weapons. Oh, yeah. Well, um, first thing, who's this guy here? Uh, that's just some random goblin collecting meat. Basically, he's like taking a piece, um, taking a piece, um, as he's stacking sort of a tray. Well, guys, I'm around for an initiative where we can start rock and roll with this crowd. Uh, Wait, you, you before, have before about, we you should that. have, you should be able to get him with a sneak attack, or not, not necessarily a sneak attack, but uh, an attack of opportunity because he hasn't noticed you. Mm, that would be a surprise round, not an attack of opportunity. Uh, right. Yeah. But yes, you could choose to take. Yeah, you, you, you should well, be you able to shoot him for that. Pardon? But question though, would would any of these people possibly know who would be in charge? And also, those people would know, you know, where Carmichael and the rest of the imprisoned people are. Um, maybe, should we not at least demand to know? Make an insight check. I'd give disadvantage, but I'll just make it a straight roll. Mm. Insight, was it? Yes. <gasps> that chef had no oh. important. 
Okay. That, Consign that, that, them to the flames. That chef hat will be big. <laughs> I want to wear that hat. <laughs> yes. <laughs> now to consign them to the flames in order to get it. <laughs> even though even though Donatello doesn't like violence, he must do what he can in order to get that hat. Alright. Captain, <laughs> Captain, what were you you wanted to do? I'm trying to decide the big guy or the little guy. I'll I'll shoot the little guy right here. All right, roll for the pistol. Straight enough forward. (laughs) Roll damage, Clint. Hey, nice (laughs) gift, my guy. That hits exactly, scoring right through the head. Um. It just falls over gone as the big goblin turns. And uh, with that, wait to roll initiative until I pulled the tracker up. I need to monk this guy as no longer a part of the system. I am on the wrong selection tool. That's my hold up. <laughs> Will this please? Okay, fine. I'll just leave since he's not letting me do it, right? Um, I need to pull the tracker. You may now start rolling initiative. Time to roll! Oh, of course. Now I get a good initiative roll on a character that is not actually mine. Mine didn't pop up. Pop late. Uh, you gotta click on your token first. Um... Such a good roll. Watch, and now he's going to get a... Okay, that's not a crappy roll. I was going to say, watch, he gets a one. <laughs> <laughs> that was a good roll, guys. That would be me. That that would definitely be me. Um, I mean, a nat 20 is never anything to actually sneeze at. So. Yeah, of course. Just loading up for the Goblin Chef, because he has unique stats from a regular Gobbo. Man, yeah, of course, course he has, but he, he has more than regular stats. He's a chef, for goodness sake. Yeah. You gotta have some pretty good skills for that. Uh, at and the top, this is my turn first. At the top of the order, it's the skeleton. I am going to squeeze through the captain. I'm gonna move at her. And I'm gonna take, I'm gonna take my short bill. Alright. I'm gonna, I'm gonna shoot the chef with it. All right, roll for it. Ow. Wow. Wow. It is a bone. It tinks right off his uh, giant cleaver as he brings it up to Perry. Um, Rowan Adlay's character sheet comes up as I actually get around to rolling initiative for him. Ha! <laughs> Fun. It's like one of my... Um, it is the goblin chef's turn as he slowly Bonk. moves towards Bonk. y'all. Fee, fi, fo, fo. Um, he unfortunately does not, is not able to get close enough, uh, but he does menace at you. Uh, Donatello, it is your turn. He's just standing there, menacingly! Okay, um, 5, 10, 15. Okay, I'll, I'll just I'll be right here going straight up to the guy um first and foremost uh summoning my uh my uh spiritual whipping behind him all right the claim you see the glint of the claymore you see the glow of the claymore you don't actually see it with the mass of the goblin ouch that does not hit i am afraid Okay, and so instead, he is going to uh, stab with the uh, the javelin. All right. It's a fifteen hit. Ah, uh, it it does. <laughs> Five. All right. Um, let's see. Can I edit? 
health right on the character sheet? No, I cannot. Um... All right. Uh, you hit kind of his blubbery belly. Uh, he seems hurt. A uh, little help, brothers. Captain, it is your turn again after you dismantled a goblin. I will run over here beside the big ugly. All right. And I will use the great sword of the dragon. The Sword of the Dragon Slayer? Yes. Oh. oh, that's so cool. Man, I'm sorry, it does not hit. <laughs> I knew Kirito was always a not a good character. And, uh, you know what? Since you excuse <laughs> you, since you <laughs> since you used an anime gif, um, he's left-handed. It skittered across the uh, cleaver. <laughs> <laughs> Which, technically, in Japanese culture, that means I'm making the goblin the hero? That, anyways. <laughs> actually, Kirito is not naturally left-handed. He's actually naturally right. Uh, nice. Uh, Ram, Ram Fang. This is unfolding. I, I am going to use my 60 feet of flying <laughs> to try and sneak up this corridor to hide behind uh, this pillar from the goblin there. Uh, you are certainly able to. Uh, actually, since you're saying to hide, uh, roll stealth. Uh, that would just be clicking the dexterity. Oh! Never mind. I get a plus stealth. Oh, that works. Yes. Uh, you, you are smaller than the column, so you just hide right behind it. Uh, that goblin... Uh, he is going to turn and see the ruckus. And, uh, one, two, three, four. Actually, he's going to dash all the way up to Donatello. Uh, oh, hello. And, but he dashed, so he used all of his actions. It is Rowan. Ah. It is Rowan's turn. As, uh, you hear the sound of a cane as he hobbles up to here. And uh, he looks at the goblin. And um, he goes, You will feel the singeing wrath of all of light! As from his hand shoots a sacred flame. It's a dex save. It fails the dex save. As the bolt of radiant energy hits him, um, he seems a little singed, otherwise unfazed. Oh, phooey. <laughs> um, and as he does that, I just say, and when that happens, when, when it hits, I just say, See? Now it's useless! They are useless! It is the atheist skeleton's turn. <laughs> <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, for those of you who do not know me, I am not actually atheist. I am really doing it for a character. He's doing it for the bit. To be fair, doing your other character doesn't really believe and doesn't necessarily follow Paylor either. Right. Fair enough. Um, so I'm once again going to attack the chef with my short bow. All right. You try to chef Boyard die. Uh... <laughs> this skeleton sucks. Yeah, um... <laughs> He's gonna get Chef Boyard dead. It is the chef's turn uh, as he brings the cleaver down uh, to bear on Donatello. Oh, 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 can I, can I do a line for him real quick? Sure. Looks like Chop Turtles on the menu! <laughs> uh, he will evoke... A reckless attack to gain advantage. Um, neither of those hit, however. Uh, he uh, he has multi attack. <laughs> okay, cool, cool. We'll just <laughs> lands on one side, lands on the other, and. So. Uh, 
Until the end of its next turn, any hit against the Goblin Chef has advantage. Uh, Donatello, this cleaver just came down on either side of you, completely missing. Um, okay. I shall go with my mace. Nice. Don't! Oh. <laughs> For six damage. I like how it's a mace, but that's a gif of a flail. Uh... <laughs> and uh, I will also attack with my spiritual weapon as well. So one second. Ah, critical failure. No, no, it's got it's it's got advantage. It's got advantage. So it can only get better. And it did. And it did. With a nice yeah, dirty twenty. And let's see, how how high can I put this? Okay, I can do this. S somehow, some some non-existent bard around you seems to be playing. Do 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 do. Um, yes, that deals an amount of damage. It he seems uh, fairly hurt out of that, actually. Um. So, 6 plus 12. So yeah, 24. as the uh, divine light just squashes across his backside, um, he goes, Argh! this big, booming, echoey voice, um, something you could only recreate using thaumaturgy. Um, uh, I think he's heard. Captain, it is your turn. I will go one more time with the great sword. All right. Going for the... Stop me after one time. <laughs> that hit. Roll damage. That is a critical. <laughs> All right. 16 damage. We had him. That's a, that's, a, that's a good bit of hurt. It is. Uh, but it's not dead. No, it is actually extremely hurt as its arm and cutting into its upper torso just gets completely lobbed off. It grabs the cleaver, flings its arm off, and grabs it into its hand as its arm, as its other arm, rolls limply on the ground. Hmm. Um, you know, this actually I'm... does sound like the goblin chieftain from uh, Alicization. What? Uh, anyways. Uh, as I try to map how much health it has left, so 16, so that, 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 that. Uh, mm, okay. It seems extremely hurt. Uh, Ramfang. I am <coughs> gonna fly at the big guy and try to sting him. I'm gonna fly high. Alright. Mm. Is the uh, inspiration I had sure. on this character? Sure. Uh, that becomes an 18. You hit. Oh, okay. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> I right. Leave. Uh, as your stinger releases, we'll say it releases some poison into its system. Uh, it says he has to be a um, uh, constitution saving throw. Okay. Need to leave. I need to leave edit mode for that for his health. What's the uh, con DC? He get he, he get that. Okay. Uh, is that does that mean half damage or no damage? Half damage. Okay. Uh, we'll, we'll round up so he takes three damage. Okay. He does not seem well. Uh, from where you stung him, his skin grows yellow. Um, it is the goblin's turn, as uh, he will now finally try to strike Donatello. Try me, boy. Ooh. 20. Ah! Great. After bouncing off your shell, he goes to hit you on the other side, um, just under 
catching the rim of your shield and sliding right into your leg. Uh, whoops, that's not how to roll damage. Um, uh, you take five damage as his scimitar cuts into you. Okay. Yeah, he's not too bad. Um, you saw... It... Uh, what does he do? Um, Rowan... Um, will make an audible sigh and hobble over to the goblin and uh, draw <clears throat> where's his weapons? draw his own rapier and stab he will hit nice um, yeah. He skewers the goblin, <laughs> and it's just Stop. It's just he's just done. Hey Jeremiah, yes. This character, he reminds me of a retro head a little bit. I can see it. No, uh, <laughs> I'm civilized. Um, and a skeleton. It is your turn again. Okay, this time around, I'm not going to use that gosh darn bow. I'm going to move up right here. Uh, and I'm... Do I have... Yes. The ability to reach him from there? Yes. Okay, I'm going to use my short sword. Alright. 19. Right. That hits. Roll damage. How do I roll damage? You click on the, click the, the word. attack word in the box. The word attack. On the... In the chat. Oh. Alright, that does a little bit of damage. Uh, though it's mounting to the point where any little bit of damage seems to be severely hurting him. Um, though it will now become his turn. As um, he makes a cleave now for the captain. Or actually, no. He makes a he makes a cleave for the one who stabbed him uh, for Ramfang. Uh, kind of just a basic draw cut. Uh, actually, he will also do that record, oh, so he gets advantage. Uh, does an eighteen hit Ramfang? Okay. Yep. Yeah. Uh, you take fifteen damage. Ouch. Yeah. Uh, that hurt. And he has multi attack, so he will make another attack as he comes back. This one without advantage, though. Does that hit? Oh no! Ramfang, you are sundered in twain. Wait, wait, like you we don't even get a get a chance to revive him? I mean you can there's you can kinda try. The, Cut in half like a pickle. I yeah. don't I don't I don't have enough I don't have enough materials for revivify. You you watch as the pseudo dragon skitters off the wide blade as it cuts back. Um, don't worry, you won't be sitting there too long because this combat is 10 HP away from being over. Hey, Steven. Yeah? By the way, Reckler says that all melee attack rolls during that turn for the creature has advantage, but when its turn is done, all attack rolls against it also get advantage. Yeah, it would have killed him anyway. Yes. So... Every time we've attacked him, we should have been rolling with advantage. Yes, I did preface with saying that. It's, it's the little things tend to get missed. Um, anyways, Donatello, it's your turn. Um, I I watch in in horror as the as the little one gets sewn in twain, and I stab with my um, yeah, I'm a stab with my javelin. 
That's a crit. Roll f oh, roll damage. Look at that! Ten how damage! Want, how do you want to do this? I please, will, please one, use my javelin to stab him in the heart, and then take it out, and then use my mage hand as a bonus action to te telekinetically shove his body face first into the flames. All right. Ooh. Somehow, you, you will say you managed to do that. Um, you push him in such a way with mage hand. Uh, he stumbles. His body trips. He he stumbles back, bounces off the table, and falls face first into the furnace. Um, wait, what about the chef's hat? Is that still on his head? The hat, can, 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 the hat for the um, Ram Fang. Um, you are bleeding out, but you were only cut in half, so you have a little bit left. No last word. You have some dying words if you want. No. Um, Ram Fang just looks at you all and kind of raises the hand and then just falls limp. Um, Donatello goes to, uh, to pick up Ram Fang, um, carries him in the chef's hat and uh, goes to one of the corners um, and then uh, I mean the tiles can be removed here right huh the tiles on the ground can be removed right or um, is there gravel well, ground those are those are part of the dungeon doodler that I use right just just wanted to make sure just wanted to make sure um, ah okay so Instead of doing what I'm, in, instead of doing that, so he he lays he lays it down, lays Ramfang down, um, gives it last rites, and then slowly and carefully humming the song of um, the warriors that have passed on, an old song of warriors that have passed on. He uh, lays it on top of the flames, on top of the corpse that he helped destroy. Is it so? The song is it the Dim the Lanterns? <laughs> mm hmm. Dim the Lanterns, dark year. Ram Fang, as your soul is loosed from your tiny, tiny, tiny mortal coil, um, you sense the presence of your former master, um, less corporeal than before, but um, not too far from here, coming to help the others. And with that encounter wrapped on a somber note, uh, we will conclude tonight. Um, Kyle, since we didn't have a proper break, Kyle, if you'd like to give a uh, gospel break, as it were. Oh, oh we did. We did. Oh, he. Oh, yeah, we did that when you left. Mm -hmm. oh. Remember when you, you had your previous break? We, we oh. got that. You guys, thank you. Um, <sighs> not how I expected the first player character, non player character death to be. Um, yeah. Hey, we could always end the night with, with the promo of everything and everyone. Uh, true. I'll let everyone else go first. I'll go last. Uh, we'll yeah. I think we'll start with right. the one who died and who might soon have something starting up again. <laughs> what are we doing? Uh, just, our, <laughs> just our promos. Self promote. Ah, okay. Yeah. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I'm so devastated. <laughs> um. <laughs> Totally not dissociating. Definitely devastated. Um, <laughs> so, yeah, I have a campaign that I'm gonna start running soon again. Sometime in March, maybe, if I can get things settled out pretty quickly. Uh, and you can find that on my Twitch, which is the same as my username. And then after I stream it, 
it goes up on my YouTube channel, which is called Nolamore, which is the same as my display name, I think, on TikTok. Yep. Nice. Um, you guys can follow me here on TikTok, but also uh, go to my link tree in my bio, and you can find all of my uh, all of the stuff that I do. For example, my YouTube, where I'm going to be uh, starting to make more content on there, especially if you know TikTok goes belly up. Um, also, check out my merch store as well as my Patreon, where I do audio books of uh, early church writings as well as uh, lessons on uh, church history where you can get like two seminaries worth of church history with for uh, for a fraction of the price you can find me on kylesanandrews.com under Kyle St. Andrews this is my backup account this is um, Alabama Gentleman I'll go last of all and then I am the Christian Assassin. Uh, you can follow me here on TikTok. You can also follow my Instagram, my YouTube, all of which are also the Christian Assassin. Um, I too also have a Patreon and a merch store. The Patreon, you, I will be hopefully within the next couple of weeks. I know I keep saying this, but uh, <laughs> things have gotten in my way of doing so. Um, I will hopefully be starting to put out uh audiobooks for uh christian novels um and then i also just recently partnered with a jewelry company out in the uk and if you use assassin the promo code assassin 1138 assassin is in all caps you can get awesome ice just like this nice awesome ice. uh you can find all that also in the link tree in my bio so yeah Oh, yeah, and I also run a podcast called Talk at the Cross. Um, and I just had uh, Pastor Floyd Hughes, Big Fat Pastor, on talking about evangelism. I've also had uh, the two gentlemen just below me on, uh, Jeremiah being the only three-peat guest on the show. So, had so, oh, yeah, that's right, I did have you. My bad. <laughs> uh, I forgot about that. But yeah, that's all I do. Watch. Go check me out. And uh, I am, of course, I'm the host and DM um, Stephen the Stole dot Stephen the Stole on TikTok for people watching later on YouTube. Um, Tomes of Time is brought to you by my desire to create and these people's desire to play in this campaign. Um, you can help. Uh, be part of the production of this by uh, subscribing to my Patreon for just about three bucks a month. Uh, you can see near daily pictures of my cute doggo. Um, for ten bucks a month, you can for sorry five bucks a month. Uh, you can see uh, me read the 1611 uh, a little bit after drinking uh, and. Um, old English, create hard, to, hard, a little hard to read, a little fun to read, uh, because I'm reading it phonetically. I forgot to mention that phonetic read. So when we're when words look weird, I read them weird. Um, there at that tier is also the bloopers for both that reading and what you get with the ten dollar tier, which is all of that and uh, me reading the Tyndale New Testament, which is insane i take psychic damage every time uh, <laughs> and uh yeah i am officially unemployed now uh so and i'm trying to get into content creation so every little bit of help helps that's a sentence um thank you all for playing thank you all for watching have a good night and god bless